Michael Franz, Blue Capital Academy, coming back at you again. This time with what I want to talk about with beginner's mistakes. The market, the Forex market is something that you have to respect. But the unfortunate side is that it's promoted in a lot of different areas, a lot of different uh, social media platforms, etc., where it's a get rich quick, copy and paste type thing. Blue Capital Academy differs a little bit because of the fact that we want you to learn and master your style of trading and the markets themselves as much as possible so you can take the skill set and continue to use it without having to rely and become an independent trader. So, talking about the beginner's mistakes that I see a lot. First thing is lack of education. Now, the lack of education could be based on the market itself and the fundamentals. It could also be um, strategy related. Lack of education could just be on Forex in general. If you do not know what you're going to be trading, you should not be trading live. If you don't have any form of a strategy, you should not be trading live. And if you don't understand the market, the way that it works and moves, as far as any fundamental aspects to it, along with the technicals as well, you should not be trading live. You should always start off with trading demo. A lot of people do not start off with demo long enough. You could do 30 days, you could do 60, you could do 90. The more time you put into it, the more, the quicker you're going to actually grasp just the basic fundamentals of how Forex works. So take your time with it. This is not a race. This is a marathon. Forex market is going nowhere. So it's up to you to make the best out of it. Once people get into it, here's the biggest thing that I see. Over leverage. Now, over leverage could mean two different things. It could be based on your lot sizes. And it could also be based on the amount of trades you have open. Your lot sizes, you should be trading a correct lot size. We usually promote a, every, a micro lot size for every $100, meaning a 0.01 lot size to every $100 you have in your account. If you were going over that, you're probably going to be considered as over leveraging. The name of the game is to stay into it and not be taken out. So you're going to lose from time to time. But if you lose with minimal loss and you can gain more on the amount of pips within your actual wins, you're going to come out ahead every single time. That's what we're supposed to do, compounding. So. If you use too high of loss sizes, you could be taken out. Now, combined with loss sizes and the amount of trades, both of these will take up margin. If you do not understand margin, margin is the actual amount of what a trade is valued to that broker based on the lot size you're using and the pair that's being taken into consideration. The more margin you're taking up, the less free margin you have, which means the smaller the move, you could be margined out and taken out without even hitting an SL before you hit TP and your broker says, oh, you don't have enough money, you're being closed out. And then all you're doing is losing, giving money to the market the whole time. So over leveraging is probably the biggest thing. The last thing that I'll touch on is a combination of revenge trading and chasing trades. So when you, we've done videos on these, but I'll touch on them real quick here. If you see a trade that's in motion already, let it move if you're not in it. You always want to be into a trade beforehand so you're prepared for it. If you're in a trade in the middle of a move, it's more likely there could be a pullback, which is going to turn around and take you out. Not just that, but let's take into consideration you could be an over leverager. Guess what? You lose more money a lot more quickly. So chasing trades. Trades that you're not in, that are already in motion, just let them go. Revenge trading, if you lose a trade, take the loss, step back, analyze what you did wrong, 
and then turn around and apply that knowledge to the next trade. Different pair, it could be the same pair, but you're letting it move for a little while, letting it finish whatever it's doing before you're gonna be prepared for the next one. A lot of people will actually lose a trade, get right back into it, and because they lost money and they're thinking, okay, I need to make that money back. If you have that thought, I need to make my money back right now, you are revenge trading. Stay away from that. I will tell you that out of all of this here, the biggest problem is the mental side of trading. The mental side of trading, your mindset in trading, it can kill you in this game. So please have a strong mind, go to the gym and practice on trading view. That's your gym. Trading view is your gym. Go lift those weights, mark up your charts, get prepared. So then that way, when you can get into the indice pairs or commodity pairs that we talked about in earlier uh, videos, you'll be more prepared, you'll have more money to spend, you'll actually be trading safely and securely, and that way you will come out ahead every single time.